Hi, and in this video I'm just going to talk to you about the basics of the Linux console. So I'm using Ubuntu, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to Applications, Accessories, and then go into Terminal. Okay, so we have Terminal open. The first thing it tells you is that you can use sudo in front of a command, and that will make it an admin command. So if it ever says access denied or any errors about permissions, try putting sudo in front of the command. But we're not going to need that today. So the first thing we want to do, if you don't want the stuff at the top, just around here, you want to clear the screen. So to clear the screen, very simple, just type in clear. So that's the first command. Clear, it just clears the console screen. Okay, so at the moment, Ubuntu, or just the Linux console generally, it doesn't actually tell you exactly where we are. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in pwd. And basically this prints your current directory. So... Here we go, I'm in home and then I'm in Joe. So what I can do now is I could say CD to change the folders. So if I said CD, if I wanted to go in, in fact, I don't know the folders. I don't know what folders are in home Joe. So to show the folders that are in home then Joe, what I can do is I can type LS and this shows me. So I've got desktop, I've got downloads, I've got music, I've got public, I've got videos, I've got documents, I have examples.desktop, I have pictures and I have templates. So let's say I want to go in downloads. Let's just cd downloads. Okay, so as you can see, I'm now in downloads. And just to prove that, I'm just going to type in pwd. And here we go. I'm in home, joe, downloads. So if pwd, that prints your current directory. ls shows you all the folders and files in your current directory. And you can look around with cd. Okay, so what we're going to do is, first of all, I'm going to clear the screen. Because it's getting a bit cramped. And I'm going to make a new folder in there, or a new directory. So, to do that, we use mkdir, which basically stands for make directory, and then the name. So I'm just going to call it folder name. Okay, and then we just hit enter, and that's done, just to prove it. ls, see, we now have this directory I made earlier using the make directory command, and folder name. So let's remove the one I made earlier, so we can use rmdir, or remove directory, to remove the one I made earlier, because we're not going to need that. I don't know why I seem to have typed it stupidly, but there we go. That's now removed that folder. So we have mkdir to make a directory, and rmdir to remove a directory. So let's just clear that. So let's go inside my directory. What did I call it? I called it folder name. Let's just cd folder name. And let's say, well, let's just double check. At the moment, there's definitely nothing inside there, as we can see. Let's say we want to make a new text file inside there. So we're just going to say touch, which is the command for making files. And then just your file name, dot the file extension. So mine's called text.txt. So we're going to hit enter. And ls, here it is, text.txt. So you can make files using touch. And we can remove files using rm, which stands for remove. So rm text.txt, and you'll see it's gone. So that's pretty much the basics of the Ubuntu or Linux in general command line uh, or terminal. Basically, we have cd to look around, we have ls to see what's inside our current directory. And by the way, with cd, just real quick, if you say cd dot dot slash, that takes you back one. So I'm in downloads folder name. If I say cd dot dot slash now, it's going to go to downloads, and then again it will go to my home slash Joe, which brings us on to the next command we learned, which was pwd, and that prints the current directory. So we have cd to look around, pwd to print the current directory, ls to see what's in the current directory, clear to clear the screen, and we can make directories using mkdir. We can remove directories using rmdir. We can make files using touch, and then our file name dot our file extension, and we can remove files using rm. All right, so that's the end of this really short video. It's really simple, and that's pretty much the most basic commands. Uh, but they're the commands you'll use a lot in the Linux terminal. So that's the end of this video. Have a nice day.